Hello and welcome back to part 7 of our Outer Worlds Beginner's Guide and Walkthrough. Just finished looting the buildings around the Botanical Gardens. All we've got left to do now is go talk to Adelaide. And she is in this building here. The greenhouse. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. <laughs> yeah, it's you that crush. Wrong? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. No, dear. The garden belongs to us all. Life is the gift of the universe, and the universe yields its bounty equally, absent of prejudice. The soil around the Vale went sour years ago, but I found a way to sweeten it back up. The secret recipe is a little bit of elbow grease, a dash of love, and a heaping pile of special fertilizer. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil. We put down new roots. It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? <laughs> make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Well, that's if not going to happen. you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seem you've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town, and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. Well, we'll consider I it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. 
So, you can be sneaky sneaky and do a lot of looting here. There is lots of stuff. We'll see if we can get her to stay in there. Don't come in here. Uh-oh, I heard the door. Oh, it's Pervardi. Some gold teeth, we'll take that. And here's a little bit of interesting information. So natural fertilizers, what she's talking about. Make sure there's nobody in here. Close the door. for some cash. Okay, let's try. Oh, we got a bolter pistol. is much better than the Spacer's Choice pistol. Alright, and we're back out. Here's the store. So let's go ahead and what we can do is a little trading here. Let's go ahead and lighten the load.
you know, I didn't think about it, but one of these gives you body attributes. Yeah, that might have been, since we were just missing that engineering by one, there's mind altering. Yeah, maybe if we drank the Rizzy tea, we might have been able to... Ambidextrian, that looks like good stuff. Extra headshot. Get two of those. Let's just go ahead and sell those. Time, tactical time dilation. And some adrenal time, but then you get the crash. So I don't really like the crash. Let's go ahead and sell all that. Something I can help you with? Yeah, I want to sell some stuff. Fresh off the limb. And that includes canid meat. So let's sell all our junk. We got a 2% discount. That was nice. Um, now one thing he does have. Oh, we want to buy. He's got this handgun, which is pretty nice. It's got an extend a sight on it. It does 77 damage, and it's a level 5. And then that's restricted, some restricted heavy ammo. And we don't really need any of this stuff. that lighten the load let's also go to before we leave town let's do some breaking down and tinkering and then we'll go in search of Zoe So that's the that's the pistol I was talking about. It's much better than the old spacer's choice that we've been using. So instead of modify, let's go to breakdown. Assault rifles. Yeah, just break that down. Oh. Almost forgot. Let's put on our tech clothes. Oh, I thought I... Well, we don't need that helmet. It doesn't give any bonuses. All right. Breakdown. 
break down this assault rifle. We want to keep that. Keep that just in case. Let's see. At level one, we can break that down for. Level two, level two. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, let's see. Tinker. So let's tinker up. It's a level 2 hunting rifle. Let's go ahead and tinker this up. quite a bit but that was worth it and that's already level five let's see it's a level six Alright, that's tinkered up as much as we can get. <laughs> one of these, there, that one's still 100%. What we'll do is, uh, we're going to do, you know, change that from, uh, to a mag zap. Keep this one Magnum mod. We definitely want, yeah, more ammo. to modify armor. Okay, the only mod that we can put on this one so that's a stealth four. That's a tech five. Let's go ahead and that's just level one. I know I'm taking up quite a bit of time here. 
there's level three. That's the one that we want to perhaps add some armoring to. Do that real quick. No, that weighs two and a half. That weighs, well, they both weigh two and a half. All right, let's go ahead. So, let's see what we want to go find Zoe. So let's look at the map from the botanical gardens. We're going to head directly east. So here we are at the crossroads. for me. And you want to be careful because there is a raider camp or marauder camp. Still in my Fallout 76 lingo. Just here to the left between us and the town. I see one walking around over there. So we've got that guy right there, a hooligan. There's a canid, a hooligan, a vandal. Another hooligan way over there. So let's see if we can use this rock as protection. See if we can get a headshot on him while he's not moving. And what does that do to the rest of them? Oh, nothing. That's right. Oh. Get behind this tree and this rock. If we have to do tactical dilation, we will. No, Probardi, don't do it. This one. Oh. Oh. she fighting with over there
we want to equip that one. And we want to unequip that one. Okay, so let's do this. Options, swap. And then equip this. Instead of this. Oh, darn it. Did we get them all? Easy. Well, we're going to have to do much better than that. When we go up against... These guys. go past the geothermal plant. As you can see, there are a ton of mines all over this place. So it's hard to sneak up on here. What we're going to do is go around this way. And see if we can't draw these guys out one by one. There's a guy right there. And 
There's a canid. Let's pop that canid. <laughs> oh, Provardi. Let's run back here. Oh, that was our... Darn it, I should have TTR'd it. Mark. See if we can draw him out again. Like I said, there's several mines around there. And I think a lot of these guys self-destructed on us, which was helpful. So let's go around this way. Use these rocks for cover. See, is there anybody else walking around over here? There we go. Ah. That's a nice headshot. There's Zoe. Don't want to shoot her. Where's our bounty guy? Oh, there's another canid. Let's see if we can get that guy while he's sitting there. Come on down. Headshot there. And I think all we have left is our bounty. We don't seem to be able to draw him out. See if we can get an angle on him from over here. Oh, just for a moment there. Let's see if I get a little better angle. There we go. Okay, going quiet. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. We do want to make sure we do not See, this is an energy weapon. I hate to use this. Yeah, I'll just use the spacer choice. 
That way we're only using small. Go in here and do some looting before we talk to Zoe. want to be careful not to got his finger that's good Again, you gotta watch out for all these mines. Stand and deliver. Oh, always wanted to say that. Didn't realize there was still one left. Come out. I guess Pravardi got him for us. We'll talk to you in a minute, Missy. Great work. Oh. There we go. Any cash in the register? Almost missed that one. Good, we can use that heavy ammo. Some more. Let's see if we can get our spacer's choice pistol back. a box that we could loot.
Alright, let's see what Zoe has to say for herself. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Hmm. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, smart ass. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Yep, you certainly are charming. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them. Seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. All right. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks. But I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Oh, let's let her know about her episode. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. All right, so we get some points for that. Made those people happy. Let's see, did we get this container? And that's about the looting prospects here. Again, be really careful because of all these mines. See, there's... See if I can get a little scrap off of him without blowing myself up or getting concussed. Ah, what about him? Taking a risk here. Nothing. Alright, let's head back. remember if I got that one or not. Oh, I didn't. Ah, darn it. Weapon parts, that's good. And... I don't know how to pronounce that name. But that was another bounty collected. Only got one more. Now before we run back to town. Oh. I don't think we got this building. Or did we? Let's see. Almost missed that guy. 
and he was empty. Now we need to get, while we're at it, before we head back to town, let's see about the community center right there. Now we're going to skirt that prime nest. We don't want to have anything to do with them. But we do want to get I don't know why I just surely I oh I was gonna say surely I didn't miss anything as I went through here and yet I did. Let's go ahead and hot key the uh oh the frightened engineer. We take the road around to the community center. Remember we snuck in the back and stole the Anison. But I believe we did leave a few guys out front that we're going to have to deal with here. Let's see what we got. I got a blip there a second ago. Let's go around this way. Oh, some canids. Ooh, this is a special canid. Maybe we'll come back for him. He does, he yields a special pistol. I don't know. Now I'm kind of thinking since he's in our sights. Let's go! Here's the big guy. Just a plasma rifle. Oh, he he does sometimes yield a unique pistol. All right, let's get back to These guys, we have probably just enough time left in this tutorial to get this and get back to the botanical gardens. So I wasn't sure if we'd cleared everybody from out front because there's some in front of this building and then there are some down here. Well, maybe we did get everybody last time. Come on, run. I don't 
don't see anybody walking around. I guess we did clear out the front last time. All right, if we're going to go in, I want my plasma. There might be a couple of guys just right here inside the door. So there's a guy up there. There's a guy behind this desk. What we want to do is kind of hang out. There's a guy over here in this room. That's good. That guy has walked off. We want to wait for... Well, let's just see if we can... You got him. Get ready. There's a guy off in that room. Oh! Now there's a terminal here. It's only going to take it. We've got 19. I'm going to go ahead. I could put on some hacking clothes and do this from zero. And for a hack of 30, you can encode a first aid key card. So, if you want to get the card this way, we lockpicked it on our earlier playthrough. I want to be careful. There is a guy in here, but I think that was the one that we shot through the doorway. Nothing on him. Some interesting exhibits that you can look at. I don't want to run out of time here. We are cutting it close. There's some... Come on. Give us your stuff. Some more ham heavy ammo. That's good. Another terminal you can use. You can read all of these. Like I said, we're running short on time if I want to make it back. In this bin, sometimes there's a key. Yeah, there's also a first aid key card in there. Got an auto mag pistol out of that deal. Remember, that's where the first aid card was. Here, we can lighten the load a little bit. Remember, there's a... We're still kind of... Let's see, what can we sell? Oh! I put buy. What on earth? Sell. Well, we sold all our junk. What else can we sell? Let's see. Sell.
cell, cell, cell. Ooh, stun baton. Well, I've got two stun batons. That's a level two. It's a level two. I guess it doesn't matter. Sawed off shotgun. If we want a shotgun, we can get one. After we turn in. All right, we need to get moving. Did we already lose this? Oh. Where? Where are they coming from, Pervardi? Here, we're almost out of time. Let me show you real quick. Where do you get that other manual? You go up these stairs, you go through here, and it's right here. Then we'll do some quick looting. Stairs back down to the lobby. That's fantastic. We are going to have to do scrap some armor. We might have got these earlier on our first walk, but yeah, we did because there's the Alright, that's pretty much it. I think that we've looted everything in here. Oh, did I get this room? There's that guy that I shot. Here we go. And then next will be the grateful folks of the botanical gardens. All right, that's everything. We go out the front door and see if we can make back to 